Hello everybody and thank you for watching once again today. We're going to be doing an unboxing on the Beeman Commander. This is a gun that I know a lot of people love. Uh, loved my last video on that gun and we're going to be unboxing it. This is really cool so we're going to just go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's, I love this gun a lot and we'll, we'll do the unboxing. You can see that pretty good. Okay, so the first thing I can see here is I got a 4x32 scope. Looks pretty good, you know, it's just the regular Beeman scope. I know that this scope is not, that's not the awesome, the, the best scope, but it definitely works. Uh, the magazine here, two O-rings, I guess, I don't know what those are for. So these sound like the scope mounts, yeah, the little scope mount right there. Beeman Commander itself. And it comes with the instructions. Pretty cool. So let's do this. Okay, got it out. It's got some foam all over it, but there it is. Man, it's really cool, the Beeman Commander. So we're going to go fill this gun up uh, to about 3,000 PSI. And then we're going to show you how it performs in the field. What we have here is a few products I just bought off Amazon, and I figured I'd show you them. I mean, I might, I might as well. So anyway, what I have here, hopefully you can see this. I got a new scope for my gun. I, I mean, the scope that I have is an okay one. Definitely not, it's not the what I want, you know, for the long term. So I got this new scope on Amazon. The link will be down in the description if you want to see that. Um, but it's just a simple scope. It was 30 bucks, so we'll see if it's really worth it. So guys, now that you've seen that, we're going to go outside on the range and actually go shoot some targets. I'm just going to stick one of these shooting sea targets right here. We're going to go shoot with the new scope I have on. We've got three different sites. And we're going to be trying them all out on the Beeman Commander. So we've got the open sights, and I really like these because they're actually adjustable and stuff. Most air gun sights are just cheap, if at all, if they ever come with open sights. They're really cheap and puny, and they don't work really well. And these are just really, they're pretty nice, and they can be adjusted. I've actually tried them out, and they work really well. So here is the Beeman scope right here. Uh, it's okay. Um, if, if you want to see how that acts, just watch the clip right now. We're gonna be now. We're gonna be trying out this scope here. This is a, a scope I just bought in the mail. I don't know how you would say that brand. And it's actually got three to nine power, which is really neat. I need some a little bit better power. I've been thinking for my scopes because I only have a fixed four by thirty-two, um, and that's just a standard scope, and that's fine for some people. But for me, I want a little bit more power, a little bit more, you know, sight and optics, so I can go for rabbits and stuff at a little bit further of a range and be more ethical in all my kills. So we're going to be t trying all these different scopes out and we'll see you then. So we're just going to shoot five shots with the Crossbin Premier pellets at this target over there. It's a shoot and see target. Um, and we're going to be seeing what happens. Okay, so here we are five shots later. You can see the kind of grouping we got here. One, two, three, four, five. So five shots here, very tight grouping. I think... I know it's because I can actually see that diamond a lot better with the higher powered scope. So we're going to go check it out a little bit more. We're going to sight it in hopefully from here to there. And hopefully we'll be pretty lucky and we'll get it right on the bullseye. Okay guys, here is the grouping. It's not the best I've seen from this particular scope. I've been shooting it a bit quite lately actually. But anyway, this is what we got. We got a seven shots right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight actually. No, that's, no, that's seven shots right here. Somehow it's seven shots right there. A very tight grouping, let me tell you that. There's the bullseye right there. So it's almost totally accurate. With a few shots here. One, two, and then there's one shot there. That's a pretty horrible group actually from what I've been getting lately okay guys so I just put up a little bottle thing it was actually an old BB bottle you know that had BBs in it but we just put that up at 20 yards and we're going to test the open sights out
So honestly, I think it did pretty good. I think it hit it every time. It was just really simple for this gun to easily hit it with the open sights. Honestly, I love the open sights. I've done testing as far as 50 yards. It's produced awesomely. And I'm telling you awesomely. I'm hitting small little cans at 50 yards with the open sights. Honestly, it'll kill it at 50 yards with open sights and if it's hitting cans it'll also hit rabbits so you don't need a scope necessarily to do that kind of work but honestly I prefer a scope because it will give you more ethical shots this gun is awesome I put the scope right back on it's 3 to 9 power by 40 millimeter the scope is in the description so this gun and this scope are a deadly combination so I hope you enjoyed this video hope, hopefully it'll help some of you guys figure out what you guys want to do also guys, if you really like this video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.